Hello friends, this video on squares and square roots part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 3. In a right angle triangle ABC, angle B is equal to 90 degree, AB is equal to 6 centimeters, BC is equal to 8 centimeters. Find AC. So let's say that this is a right angle triangle. So just a rough diagram. This is angle B which is 90 degree. Let's call this as A and this is C. So AB is given as 6 centimeters, BC is given as 8 centimeters and we have to find out the length of AC. Now by Pythagoras theorem we know that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square, right? So AB is given as 6. So 6 square plus BC is 8, so 8 square, so 6 6 is 36, 8 8 is 64, so this is equal to 100. So AC square is equal to 100. So therefore AC will be equal to square root of 100 and square root of 100 is equal to 10 centimeters. So the value of length of AC would be 10 centimeters. Question number 4. There are 500 children in a school. For a PT drill, they have to stand in such a manner that the number of rows is equal to the number of columns. How many children would be left out in this arrangement? Now, when you look at the arrangement, it is something like this. If this is one student, let's assume that each cross represents a student. And we say the number of rows should be equal to the number of columns. So, let's say this is one row. This is one more row. So this is row number one, row number two. This is row number three. This is row number four. So that, will the arrangement look like this? No, because right now you see there are four rows, but how many columns? One. So number of columns is one, two, three, four, five. So these are the number of columns. So there are five columns. So therefore there must be five rows as well. So this is how the arrangement would be. If there are 5 rows, there should be 5 columns. If there are 10 rows, there should be 10 columns. Now whenever you try to satisfy this condition, you would see that you end up making a square. Because only a square has the shape where all the 4 sides are equal. So it could not be a rectangle. It has to be a square. Now, when you want to make a square with 500 children, now we do not know if we will be able to make a perfect square with 500 children. We will be able to do that only when 500 is a square number. Because if 500 is a square number, then let's say, let's assume that 500 is a square number. Or let me take a smaller number. For example, 49 is a square number. 49 is equal to 7 square. That means if 7 students are standing like this, like there would be seven uh, columns and seven rows. So in that case, it would it would make 49, right? But if the number is not a perfect square, in that case, there will be certain children who will be left out. After that pattern is formed, there would be some extra children who would be left out. So here what we have to see is whether 500, if 500 is a perfect square, then all the children will be used up in making the square. So no children will be left out. But if 500 is not a perfect square, then some children will be left out. So let's see. So let's try to find out the square root of 500. Right? So when you try to find out the square root, this is how you place the bars. You start placing the bar from the units place. Now try to find out that number whose perfect square is less than or equal to 5. So that is 2 because 2 square is 4. The 2 2 is a 4. So remainder is 1. And here you have zeros. The zeros from the next bar will come down. And here the divisor would be 4 and you put a blank here. So what would be that blank? So we see that the blank could be 2. So 42 into 2 is 84. And we see that the final remainder is 16. So the final remainder is not 0. That means 500 is not a perfect square. That means if we want to make this arrangement with 500 students, we can make this arrangement, but some 16 students will be left out. So 16 students will not be a part of this arrangement. Why? Because if you subtract these 16 students from 500, so what do you get? You get 484 and 484 is a perfect square. So if you find out the square root of 484, it is 22. So that means there would be 22 students in each row. 
and so that would make 22 rows and 22 columns and as a result what will happen like how here I have drawn, drawn some five students in a row because of which there are five rows and five columns in that case it would be 22 students in a row making 22 rows 22 columns but for that arrangement only 484 students will be needed so how many children will be left out from the arrangement so 16 students will be left out from this arrangement so I hope that you understood this problem right so th this is something which you need to understand you need to actually visualize what I'm trying to say and I hope that this diagram would have helped you to understand this so you see with this we also get to know that finding square roots or finding squares is not just a mathematical compulsion that you, it is just a lesson in your mathematics book and you just need to do it so with this example you get to know that these kind of concepts are also helpful in real life when you are dealing with numbers when you are dealing with arrangements so these concepts help so i hope that this lesson on squares and square roots would have helped you practice more problems so that you can gain confidence and see you all in the next lesson thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you